Hey VC, it's Glenn Calloway from the basement. This is my third contest today. <laughs> you gotta support everybody, man. Um, this is for John at JB's Vinyl and Cassettes. I just uh, discovered John's channel through uh, another contest entry, and now I'm scratching my head trying to figure out who did the contest entry. I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, hopped over to John's channel and subscribed. And uh, he's a pretty cool guy. So uh, if you're not subscribed and you're not aware of it, please hop over there. John just surpassed 100 subscribers. I just looked. He's at 111. Um, so this is a celebration of reaching everyone's first goal and milestone, the magic 100 number. John, it'll you'll be like 200, 300 in no time, and you'll be going, holy crap. Yeah, it'll it'll happen, man. Um, John asked us two things. An album that you bought cheap, maybe in a bargain bin, or you found it somewhere, and it turns out it's worth a few bucks. I don't have a lot of those, but I got one I'm going to show. And another one is, uh, what album did you buy that uh, isn't worth the... Uh, money you paid for it, I guess, kind of went the opposite direction. Um, so let's start. I've got an album and a CD set that's going to be my two things. First one, I just got this a few weeks ago. I did show it on a video. I'm going to take it out of the plastic here. I got Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas original Parlophone album still got the uh, British uh, price tag on it look at that pyrophone label it's the fold over cover very cool I love this freaking old pyrophone label this record's from 1963 do you not love that label it's my favorite record label of all time oh I could just stare at it for hours this record is in mint freaking condition I don't think anybody ever played it and it's actually pretty darn good I like it. Billy J had a few hits, right? Uh, Bad to Me, Little Children. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. Back, I mean, he was a Liverpool guy and uh, signed with Brian Epstein. And um, um, they uh, produced by George Martin. These albums. Now, here's the original label or uh, insert that it came in. And what's very cool is when I got it, it came with this. Parlophone uh, insert. Advertising the records of the day. It says, Outstanding Records for Your Collection. The EMI catalogs now listed on here are with the Beatles. Um, gives the Parlophone uh, catalog numbers in mono and stereo. Uh, Please Please Me is on here, Adam Faith, uh, Bridge on the River Y with Spike Milligan, Peter Sellers, there's a, some cool stuff, Matt Monroe, there's some cool stuff on there, so uh, that was kind of cool that that insert was in there. I paid $5 for this record, looked online, it, uh, it just in Discogs, and uh, it looks like an $80 record, so... That's probably my most uh, biggest one I've got. I'm not really a big... I like listening to music. I'm not really into it for the money, like to, as an investment. Um, the next thing, it's not that it's... Well, okay, I got this when it first came out. Fleetwood Mac, live in Boston. It's the complete performances. Um, three discs, and it came in this round case so this is the way it first came out see that those those CDs don't want to come out of there look you can't big look at there okay you think people enjoyed this look at unbelievable how, how is that for packaging? What genius did this? 
So, I bought this. And then I guess there was enough complaints and people were going nuts. There's a book in there. It'll come out. Oh, yeah, it'll come out. See a bunch of stuff. It comes out eventually. Um, people complained and they put it out in a square box, like a regular box. And I'm stuck with this freaking thing. So uh, anybody who waited and bought this uh, in the square box, congratulations, and idiots like myself. I don't even know if anybody ever buy that off me. I think I, I use it as a Frisbee or something. It's uh, just so frustrating. So that's something I paid probably 25 bucks for that I don't think it's worth 25 cents. Um, geez, I'm starting a rant. I love my Glenn Kellaway rants. They're pretty funny. Um, okay, so that's that. Now the other one I could mention is the Beatles mono box set. Um, when it came out, it was like, okay, Canadian dollars, $300. And I bought it. Then I sold all my vinyl off, like 10 years ago or whenever I sold it, and the, and the box went with it. And the uh, biggest mistake of my life, when I started getting back into the vinyl again, I had to have the box. It's my holy grail, that Beatles mono box. I paid $700 Canadian for it. It sells for over 1000 bucks. 1200 bucks, like, I mean, it just sells for big money, never to be produced again, I'm quite sure. Um, the best pressings you can get on a Beatles mono album, unless you have the originals in mint condition. And uh, so that's another one that, uh, even though I paid 700 for it, I, it's probably worth a thousand at least. So thanks, John. Congratulations on 100 subscribers. You'll do 200 in no time. Peace out, everyone. Talk soon.